Hey everybody, it's the program MMZ Rick. Let's start the timer. Let's start the show. Look where I am. On TV. That's where I am. Where am I? I'm in your media device. This is your television. You're watching television right now? Viewers? I'm on the television. Today is Saturday, the 23rd of September, episode 2562. We've made it 2,562 hours, and maybe we're going to make it through another one today if nothing goes wrong with my consciousness. I don't, you know, lose it. It's hard to find. You lose your consciousness, it's hard to find after it's been lost. Some things, some things you lose and you find them. Some things, they just go, they go away. Uh, I, I want to look at this tape of when we moved the couch. Did you know that we moved the couch? Uh, over there. It's been a a few days. I think it's on the Monday tape. I think this one. Monday, yeah, the 18th. So it's on this tape. We got to cue it though. It's gotten uncued many times. Uh, maybe we're gonna look at the phones too. This is this is a tape of us moving the couch. I gotta fast forward a, a good amount first to find that spot if we can. If it's even gonna happen. Yeah, I gotta fast forward way more. Uh, let's get on this. Let's look at the phones. Got a couple of voicemails. Looks like. Oh, Dan Dobler and Mr. Ginsu. What a good combo of people. What a good people individually and together. Both great. Let's see, I gotta, I gotta get this thing plugged in. I can find it. Oh, what's this? Where's this thing? Where's the plug-in? Is it this? It is. Oh, some shocking sounds. Hey, Dr. Kenny. Hey, Kenny, and Dan. Uh, I, I, I got your number again. I, I got your number again. Good. And, 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 and Pedro was, was, was telling me about the show tomorrow. About being on, being on, the, on the show tomorrow. On Sunday? Uh, all right. Can you call me back and let me know uh, where, it, where, where it's going to be? And... and uh, Better said he might he might pick me up, but uh, he's coming back. But yeah, maybe we should call Freddie first. Um, doing some scheduling. I want to see Dan tomorrow. Let's call him back. Here we go, Dan Dobler. Well, you know, we're gonna call Freddy first, I guess, and talk about scheduling, and then we can call Dan Dobler back. Cause if we call, uh, oh, if I call Freddy first, it's gonna be scheduling craziness. Oh, we missed it. 
Now we gotta rewind. I went too far. I fast forwarded too far. Now we're rewinding. Oh, <laughs> the catch is in the air in that part of the video. Hey, you've reached Freddy Dobler. I can't come to the phone right now, but if you leave me a nice message, then I will call you back as soon as I can. Thanks a lot. Thanks a lot. Hey, Freddy, it's the program uh, on your back. Uh, how are you? Where are you? Dan Dobler called us. He said that he wants to come on the show tomorrow. Maybe we could do the show uh, at like two or three o'clock tomorrow with Dan Doble if you're going to drive him here. I think he might like the new couch and we have some walking space now a little bit, a very tiny bit, but you know, that's good amount to me. Uh, you can call us back, call Dan Dobler back. Call everybody. All right. Thanks, Ray. Bye. 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 Bye, Monday. Oh, we didn't even get my much time to. I just like started recording right after that thing. So here is that. This is cleaning up. This is cleaning. Get ready to move. There we go, we're calling Dan Dobler next. Let's say, hey, Dan Dobler. It's the program, how are ya? Let's see if we can find this number. It's somewhere. It's been a few days, I guess. I haven't called Dan Dobler in a few days. I'm sorry, the person you are trying to reach has a voicemail box that has not been set up yet. Please try your call again later. Goodbye. Well, Dan Dobler, not sure how it's going to work. We're going to try to get you on the show tomorrow. I think that's a good idea. <laughs> the couch moving the couch. Is it going to work? It did work. I was there. I remember this. I'm moving the couch. There you go. There it goes. Goodbye, couch. <laughs> Am I struggling? Am I even doing that much? Look at the bottom of the couch. It's all full of dust. Craziness under there. That's why we had to get rid of the couch because there's guts. Look at those guts. They're falling out. Do most couches have bottoms? I'm gonna reach under here. No, you can feel the guts of this couch too. I don't know if that's how all couches are, or just at least this couch and that couch have the guts, whole guts deal. We could try to call Yellowfellow too. Mr. Ginsu left us a couple messages, but I wanna call Yellowfellow too. Just to see, I don't, I just, I don't think he's gonna answer, so. I can just get through this. Time. Hello. Hey. Yo, fellow, you answered without not even one ring. Hey. We've been missing each other lately. Yeah, it's been a few days. That was, uh, you you answered so fast, it was scary, almost. I know. People, people say that a lot about me. It's like... That I answer the phone too quickly. Yeah, well, you expect at least one ring. It's like, you're, you're <laughs> you know? Yeah, no, people say it's like kind of disturbing. I don't know, I'm in a lot of social situations that I try to get out of 
sometimes, so I just escape into my phone. Yeah. Oh yeah, so you're right there, but it, it's it's like um, you it's like so fast that it seems like it's gonna be a message. Yeah. No, my uh, friend, my friend Mike told me that I should at least wait a few moments to answer, just so it's less sad. Oh, it's less sad. Well, I don't know if it's sad. It's jarring. It's like whoa. <laughs> I'm I'm there at your best and call whenever you need me. Yeah. Well, whenever but you're. I kind of know but that. Except not. If you don't answer the phone immediately, you're probably not going to answer it at all. Yeah, well, sometimes that's usually when I'm working or something. Yeah. It's like you must be just on that phone. I'm about to go to a gay club in Philadelphia. Oh, what's it called? Um, I forget. Something with a V. I'm not gay, but I'm going with people who are. That's That's okay. But a lot of gay, uh, straight people get a gay clubs, apparently. So. They, they do. It's it's the it's the modern time, you know. Yeah, it's like 2015, right? Yeah. Get with it. Yeah, go to the gay club. It, but I'm with people, so you might, it might be hard to hear me. Does it have? I wonder if it has a, a like a fun. A you want to fun, say my cousin? A fun name, sure. Hello. The radio. This is the radio show that I've been hearing about for the last couple of years. Yeah, it's wow. us. How are you? You guys, yeah. You know, first of all, you guys are pretty famous in Pennsylvania because I've been telling everyone I know about you, including my wife. Thank you. Yeah, you guys inspire a lot of children in Philadelphia, especially four to six-year-olds. Yeah, do you show them the show? Yeah, I got some neighbors downstairs, one's four and one's six, and they both like your show. And, uh, you know, I know. you guys are gaining exposure in Philadelphia amongst uh, the minority uh, youth. The minority youth, not white people. I li- I'm white, and I like you guys. So you're, you know what I mean. I'm just a little older. Old white people. So you know. Old white people, and young, not white people. The only two racial, ethnic groups that uh, you guys have expanded to in Pennsylvania is is um minority youth and elderly whites. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's like, a very, it's a, it's a niche, niche market, N I A H E. White, white people, they get old, then they move in. Minority people, they, yes. they, they move out when they, when they're a certain age. Minorities move. That's why who's, there's an M at the beginning who, of both the words. Who, M and M. Minorities who, move. Who's raising? White people will. Is it like white people raising, raising kids on their other races? There's some. White people that raise their kids excellently, and then there's a lot of white people that raise their kids uh, average, and there's an equal number that raise their kids poorly, All as the, well as the black community. It run, more, runs a gamut. How do you think your parents did? I'd give them, like, if, if we were going by, like, A, B, C, uh-huh. D, F, give them, like, a B, a B minus. B minus. Uh, you could you could have turned yeah. out better. I think everyone could turn out better, but you know we have to accept what we cannot change. I'm so not- I just want to let you guys know you guys are the greatest radio show, in Pennsylvania, and in the United States all together, and in the continent, thank and you. in the hemisphere. Thank in the you. Hemisphere. So um, we want to thank you guys for doing what you're doing. My pleasure. Kids. The black kids in Philly appreciate it, and the grandparents in Philly appreciate it, and um, we couldn't go on without you. Are you so going? Are you going to the and, club? Uh, are, are you um, going to the club I tonight? Call it a club. We're about to go to a place called Voyager. It's called Voyager. It's called Voyager. Uh, one of my coworkers. One of my co. One of my coworkers is is a uh, home uh, homosexual. Sounds too, like judgmental. One of my coworkers is a dyke. That's a little less judgmental. <laughs> That's so we're gonna go to the um, the gay we're bar. We're gonna go to the gay bar. I'm gonna act like John Pat is my uh, you know John Pat, my cousin that put me on the phone with you. 
Uh huh. I'm gonna act like he's. I'm gonna act like he's my gay lover if I get hit on. So he's like my oh, safety valve. That's so okay. I, yeah. Why? Why you don't have so to? It be interesting. You don't have to put up a ploy. You don't have to put up a ploy. No, you, my wife's coming with me. My wife, friend, is the one we're going. With. You can be but who I'm you are. Her. You can be who you are. Yeah. Well, I'm gonna try to push my wife off on some lesbian woman and get them to fall in love. So that me and John Peck can continue on in our relationship as planned. Yeah. Oh, damn. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I gotta use the phone back to JP. Okay. Hello. Hello. You know, I. Hi. Do you have a good conversation? Yeah. yeah. I, I, I did kind of, but I don't think you have to um, like make up these uh, games to go. I mean, to go to the gay bar, you can just go, be yourself, and have a good time. You don't have to worry about uh, your your cousin. Sounds like oh, he's worried I, about getting hit think, on. Yeah. No, he's um. A little ignorant. Yeah. But whatever. Yeah, Can't you don't. That. You don't have to worry about getting hit on. It's okay. And no, I don't. I don't worry about it. Yeah. He's uh he's living in the past a little bit. I think so. Um, yeah. it's called Voyager. We're judging you right now. We're in love and we're going to. Yeah, that's Voyager. That that whole yeah. that whole being in love with your cousin thing is a little. I think I find that to be. <laughs> Offensive, you know. I have a lot of songs about Compet, and I'll be releasing an album. You're drunk. Um, You're so drunk. <laughs> oh, your cousin's drunk already? Oh. Yeah, he definitely. Yeah. Yeah, it's all. Well, it's. I guess it's like what almost one a.m. over there, right? Or almost midnight. Oh yeah, it's, it's getting late. Yeah. Wait, I, I need to get my kid. Do you want to get in the picture with me and my cousin? Yeah. All right, we'll hold you in the picture. All right. <laughs> the phone? Look, <laughs> it's my phone. Are you going to hold your phone up? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, well, I'm going to soon. Rob, my cousin's doing a little photo shoot thing right now. Wait, I think I need to be in a picture. It's called Voy. The place is called Voyager. Voyager, yeah. That's a pretty good name. I like. I think that that like has some like fun gay, gay implications, but is not like. I think it's like it straight up with it, you know. Maybe I'll realize I'm gay. It's like so. It's like subtle. I don't think. I think you would have known. That's the shitty. That's the fucking thing you gave me that didn't work. I think it's, it didn't work in my. Maybe my. Oh, one second, uh, sir. Uh, here's my thing. It doesn't seem to be working. Like one. That's not gonna do anything. Oh wait, I'm gonna have to go then, my dear friend. All right. Thank you. Have a lovely evening. You too. Bye. I was yellow fell. Look at us clean. Got a shop vac. Uh, vacuum, vacuuming up the guts of the couch because they all fell out. Because the couch is full of uh, dust and nastiness. All right, let's just send these Ginsu messages and we can try to call him back because it's a Saturday, so maybe he's awake late. Here's the first one. That's your message, huh? I don't really. I don't know. You got called. Was that last night or today? You trying to sleep? Let's listen to the next one. Maybe we'll tell us not to call, call him back. I don't think we're going to wake him up, though. I think if you want to go to sleep, then you for sure turn off your phone. What the fuck, over? 
going down, motherfucker, motherfucker. I'm just sitting here freaking watching American Ninja Warrior on my big ass fucking TV. Get down, motherfucker, get down. I mean, they fuck it. They. You fuck it. They follow it. I can see what's going down. At least I watch football. Freaking. What the fuck? You can see what's going down. Like, holy cow. They're actually playing football. Just like in that little thing I was watching. It's like, I don't know what the fuck they're doing. They're saying shit. They're fucking whatever. Whatever. Uh huh. No, so I was wondering if you did show yet, but whatever. I guess you freaking probably have already. We so have not. Go fuck yourself. No, oh, that's not nice to say. Uh, here we go. Let's call Mr. Gintu back. Tell him that we, in fact, have not. Say, so take that back, Mr. Gintu. That's rude to say that kind of thing. Why are you saying that? <laughs> That's measuring the space in the ground. Hello? Hey, Mr. Gensey, you're awake, huh? Hello? Can you hear me? Uh. What the heck? I'm not sure what he said. Did he say that he's sleeping? I guess. I don't know if I want to call him one more time. He'll call us back, right? I think he'll call us back if he knows what, what he's doing. Oh, he has the part where we moved the new couch in. Wow. There's no sound. Oh, there's, see, look at the, how nice the bottom of the new couch is. The one that I'm sitting on right now. This is the one I'm, I'm on. It's a little, it's nicer than, oh, yeah, he's calling us back. Hello, hello. What the hell is going down? Yeah, something wrong with the phone. It's working now, though. Can you hear me? How you ain't just fine. You're awake. Yep, yep. For the most part. Saturday. It's Saturday night. You're uh, it's the weekend. That's right. Um, very freaking epic. What are you doing? What are you doing on the weekend? You gonna go, uh, go party? Oh no, no. I'm just sitting here watching my big TV. Eating beans. Everything so. Everything is so much different watching a big TV. Yeah? I'm up, up close, kind of. <laughs> it's like, what the fuck? Everything, everybody's as big as I am, right? Everything's so big. Everything on TV is as big as I am. Wow. <laughs> that's real big. Yeah. yeah, that's big. What do you watch? It? What do you watch on the TV? You got internet or you just watch that, that, uh, that digital box Freaky. thing? Visual box free TV. So how many? Wait, how many inches is that TV? You don't? Can you tell? Well, you need a. Uh, 40, Forty-five. I should get them. I can't find my uh, tape measure. Yeah, I think they measure it in diagonal. That's how you measure how big your TV is. Yeah, it's uh, maybe a good four or five foot, four and a half five foot. That's real big. Pretty good size. Fifty-five inch, maybe. Four and a half. I keep coming up about four and a half feet, so it's got to be pretty close. Four and a half feet is, what, 48, 55? Yeah, so about 55 inch, probably? Possibly. What are you watching? It, um, Gerald and Hare, maybe. 
Telemundo. Eye for an eye. You watching Spanish? Eye for an eye. Chuck Norris. <laughs> oh, eye for an eye? What is it? Chuck Norris. Chuck Norris. Yeah, you got that red Camaro. I used to have red Camaro similar to that. Oh, what happened? No, I used to have Camaro similar to that. What happened to it? I can't remember. You smash it? You crash it? You sell it? I probably uh, wrecked it. I wrecked it. Because uh, my brother was having a freaking uh, some sort of wedding or something, and I was supposed to go get flowers for the goddamn wedding or something. So I went over there, and then on my way there, this fucking semi was right in front of me. And I was not tailgating him, because I was about 30 feet back. But his truck was so tall that going down the city street, couldn't see the freaking stoplight until fucking it's too fucking late. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And so the other guy, he was like, as soon as the light turned, he fucking went for it. And uh, I hit him. You hit the truck? I hit a truck, yeah. You like T-boned it? <laughs> Pardon? You like hit the truck while he was going through a red light? No. Oh. I didn't hit the truck. The semi went through a, he like pretty much blew the end of a red light, a green light. Yeah. Or a, he blew the end of the yellow so that it was freaking turning red whenever I entered the entered the intersection because I was doing the speed limit with the truck. And by the time I saw the fucking light, it was red when it came over the top of the truck. It was too fucking late. Uh -huh. I hit the brake. Fucking the other guy came across, and I hit him just barely, but fucking enough to fuck it up a little bit. So fucking whatever. You but did. don't be following semi trucks too close in the city. Yeah. Because whenever a light comes up, it's gonna fuck you, and you're gonna be at fault because you run the light. Was that in, in the uh, Thurston County? No, it was in Thurston County. Yeah. Did you, uh, your, but your car, your car is, uh, that car was br totaled after that, or? No. Kinda. No. No, I think I replaced the fender and that was it. it like, um, something happened. Lots of things happened with that car. Yeah, that sounds like a crash mobile to me. Uh, it wasn't that bad, but it, like I said, I replaced the fender. And it's fine. Like, you're gonna, if you, I think that sounds like if you if you have a red Camaro, you're just asking to get in a wreck. Uh, no, no, no. I'm not asking to get in a wreck. You get a Camaro. <laughs> I don't know, kind of. Like, why else are you going to drive unless you want to be a wild driver? Like, what are you going to drive? Like, why else are you going to drive that kind of car? What the fuck? It's like a... Um, it's a good car. <laughs> yeah. But why? I don't know. It seems like it's just, like, only good for somebody being... Somebody wrecks into you. If somebody wrecks into you, it's probably not going to kill you. Because it's a good car. You get in the wreck in one of them little fucking jobbers that are freaking made out of tin. Fucking who knows what the fuck they're made out of. Fucking them things, you can get clobbered. So it's a defensive, it's a defensive car. Yeah. Pretty much. Yeah. Alright, that makes some sense to me, I guess. There you go. Yeah, you don't want to die just because somebody hits you. Yeah. There's plenty of room in there. There's room in the Camaro. It's not. It's not one of those tiny sports cars. No. Uh. Never really been into the tiny sports car. Cause like I say, I don't want to die. <laughs> yeah. Somebody hits me. Camaro is a bigger car. Fuck, the, other, the other day, the other day, freaking this freaking truck. I come up to the stop sign on my way to work. This guy blows the semi truck, blows this red light, 
light was green for me for like two or three seconds. But I seen him coming, and he weren't slowing down. Uh-huh. And I'm like, well, I ain't going to pull out there. Fuck you. That'd be, like, stupid, you know? Yeah. Because uh, I can see he ain't fucking slowing down. He ain't going to get done or whatever. And he just blew that fucker like you when he was looking what's going on. Then I seen him on the news and some truck hit something else. Running in the light. His fucking brake didn't work or something. Yeah, you think it was the same one that you saw? I freaking think so. <laughs> they ended up on the news later on? Yep, yep. He was acting somebody else. Or Cadillac or something. Wow. You don't hear about too many car wrecks on the news. So only major, I guess, major crazy ones. Well, this one, the freaking... Whatever he hit was pretty much partly destroyed. Yeah. Pretty much. Mostly destroyed. I think it was on, something was on inside the truck, maybe on inside like a potato truck or something. They they knock over the, they knock over the potatoes onto the freeway or something. They're on the road, probably. From what I can recall, free potato <laughs> free. They gotta they gotta shut down the freeway to clean up the potatoes. I think it was in town somewhere. Yeah. He uh, blew another light somewhere. I don't know. Yeah. In the town. I don't know where the fuck it was really, but... You watched... I almost got collaborated if I pulled out there. Yeah, you... you I had, got collaborated. You had fast reflexes. He did not. Huh? You had fast reflexes. Well, I had fast not reflexes. Oh. Uh. Oh, you didn't pull. Yeah. I had fast reflexes to not reflect. Right? Yeah, you would have gone fast. Just because uh, I saw it, it me and I went. I looked first. And I didn't like what I saw. And so I decided not to go and get me killed or the guy that was with me killed. That's good. Yeah. So. You watch a lot of news, huh? I could have got my car paid for it probably though. Being that I had the green light, I could have just pulled out there and let my front end get run over and yeah. got me in making new cars. That's hard to hard to gauge though. It's hard to like get in a good wreck and not just get hurt. Yeah, well you have to just smash your front end right under the back tires or something. That's how you messed up your car uh, last time. Or your back. That's, no. That's how, that's how you messed up your body the last time it was in that car wreck, so. No, well, that was somebody else's car wreck, and that was against a big gig that wasn't going to go nowhere. Yeah. Didn't even the width of a dime, I don't think, whenever he hit it. It was like stopped on a piece of paper and it stopped on the width of a dime. Yeah, but still car wrecks. I don't think you want to get any more car wrecks. Yeah, that's. Another thing is, uh, except for, he, he would have had insurance that would have paid for it. But I had a friend that got in a wreck with one of them fuckers once, and they tried to starve his ass out. He was uninsured? The guy that you got in your wreck a long time ago, he was uninsured? Uh, he, the truck driver had insurance, and uh, the truck driver's fault, so he didn't want to pay for a long time. But I was a salmon fisherman, so I gave him lots of salmon. <laughs> and he smoked lots of salmon. And very good. He ate lots of smoked salmon. Lots of salmon. And salmon coming out of his ears. You gave and him... I wasn't going to let him starve. He, he hit you and you gave him salmon? No. My friend almost got starved out by the insurance company. Because they weren't going to pay him. Oh, he didn't have enough. So he, yeah. He got in a semi truck. He didn't have money for food? He didn't have no money for food. And he had a hard time paying the rent. And fucking. I fed him for a while. That's good of you. Yeah. And then he finally got a big old settlement. Bobby's property. You got a 
I'm, I want some salmon. You, they get you get when you get to fish, you get to take a lot home with you. You can take some home with you if you want it. You get a percentage of the catch. They either sell it or you take it home. You sold a lot of it too. I didn't sell it. I didn't give it to the guy. You can get it pretty cheap when you're catching it. Yeah, but you. And your boss. You get paid too, though. Right. And you got money and salmon. Yeah. So you don't need to sell it. You got paid in a salmon. Lot money, a lot more money than salmon, but I took salmon because I wanted to be able to eat salmon and uh, yeah. smoke salmon. I love smoked salmon. Yeah, me too. It's good. You smoke it yourself? Good recipe for smoked salmon is you slice it into like four inch chunks, depending on how thick it is. It's really thick. You gotta go ahead and uh, make shavings. Quarter inch thick shavings. Uh huh. Down there. And that's uh, like jerky. And it's about a half inch thick or so. Three quarters of an inch thick. And then those will be your smoked salmon chunks. And put in, get the. Uh, Brown sugar, rock salt, and you can use a couple drops of liquid smoke. Uh huh. Whatever. You can put some wine in there if you want. And Pokemon, um, soy sauce. Oh, yeah. Or Pokemon, um, one of them Pokemon products. Yeah, like a y Yuzu. And you make a brine out of it. Yeah. Right? Yeah. A cup, cup of water. And you... Uh, cup, cup of salt. Cup, cup of salt with a cup, cup of freaking uh, brown sugar. Just, uh, all mixed together. You brine it for about 10, 12 hours. Yeah. Then throw it in a little smoke house. Smoke it up. All right? Yeah. Sounds good. I'm hungry now. Oh. Oh, yeah. Tasty, tasty, tasty. How, how much did you get? A pounds? 10, 100 pounds? Oh, back then. Back then, I got 75 to 100 pounds at a time. Wow. That's a lot. Yeah, yeah, it's a lot. Did you freeze it? But most, most of it, froze some of it. And then you smoke it, yep, and it, yep. that makes it last. Yep, yep. The more you smoke, the better. It, you know, it's better that way. <laughs> yeah. Oh my goodness! You use uh. Um, the, you have a, a wood. Do you have a wood preference when you're smoking things? Well, it's like alder smoke. Alder wood. Yeah. 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 Use cherry or whatever you want. Apple wood. Cherry Apple wood. Wood. I like the old. Lots of salmon. They got those salmon like in the, you know, like Tumwater Falls, all those salmon are there. But where are they all? Like, where do they all go? Do they sell them out of that hatchery? I don't think they sell them. I think they all left from the hatchery. They let them go up river. It's for the, they collect the egg sperm yeah. and they mix it together. It's for the environment more than for food at Tumwater Falls? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, there's possibilities they sell them. Um, you'd have to ask. But, uh, but like you, you don't really want what's going through, what they're, what they're doing with, because then the fish are old. Yeah. And you, have a chance, you have a lot more chance of getting sick. Salmonella poisoning. Salmonella. Salmonella. Yeah. Don't be dirty when you got your fish. You keep everything very clean. Yeah, they're getting ready to die. They're once they make it back up to the to Tumwater Falls, they're about ready to die. Yep. They start changing color. Well, it's not necessarily eating fish. What do they turn gray? But it is good. For 
So if they turn uh, reddish, and red is definitely don't need it. Um, let me see. They mostly want them silvers. The outside. Once they start turning green, green, yeah. green greenish color to them and a red color, then it's getting iffy. That's yeah. about the way it is. Anything turn red, you don't really want it. Yeah. Unless you're starving. Yeah. You can cut the skin off and cook it, cook it thoroughly, I guess. Yeah. That's that, you're dying. That's dangerous, though. Yeah, don't eat questionable fish, that's for sure. Like, that's the worst, probably. Yeah. That's real bad. Um, could go for some of that salmon instead of eating all those beans, huh? Yeah, yeah. How many cans of beans did you eat today? One. Just one? Yeah. Yeah? Lima beans? I can't remember. You can call your friend, tell him to give you some salmon. Yeah, you don't live near the salmon. You don't have the salmon anymore. You don't have any fishing buddies still? You go get some fish? No. Oh, I went to the wrong. You, don't, uh, you don't know anybody who's on those boats anymore? Well, I know where the Columbia River's at. I can always drive over there, up there, and see what's going down. But that would require getting a fucking fishing license and shit. Yeah, you fish out of the river? Or you didn't go to, like, the Alaska or something? Well, you can, but fishing out of the Columbia is just as good. There's okay. fucking shit down the river of fish in Columbia. Yeah. Yep. All right, we're going to... the salmon run. Fucking shit down. I used to fish on that river and, uh... Holy fuck. Like, commercially, I used to fish. We're going to record a message of the future, okay? Holy... Crap. All right, here goes. Hey, future, it's us, the past. It's the past. Good luck in the future and do something about the one thing. Yeah. All right, thanks, pass by. Yeah. All right, yeah, that, that do was, something about that one thing. That was a message to the past. Uh, Yeah, I'm going to get some salmon. You can just go to the river and just fish out the river, but you got to, yeah. That one thing, right? Yeah. yeah they'll, they'll be upset with you if you go and you have to tell the government that you're getting the fishing though Say what? if you want to go fish you want to go get some fish out of the river you gotta go tell the government about it what's wrong with that what telling the government yeah uh, that's okay i guess <laughs> that's wrong with that. yeah that's Fuck yeah it's fine to tell the government yeah, about I'm it gonna say, hey, i'm gonna go i'm gonna go motherfucking fishing motherfucker watch me yeah but if you don't you come out what happens if you go fishing without a license? You go to jail? Oh, then you get a ticket. Just a ticket? For no license. Yeah. No license fishing. I want, I want the ticket for being too close to goddamn. Damn. Have you ever gotten a, uh, like a private fishing license? Private fishing license? Or whatever it is that yeah. you get for the salmon? Yeah, you got one? Yeah, fishing, fishing, not a commercial fishing license, but a fishing license. And then you got to get, like, a, you can only catch a certain amount, right? A non-commercial fishing license. Private, yeah, I guess. Uh, yeah, you can only you can catch the many. Two or three. Yeah. Um, if you get your fishing license and you go out on a boat from uh, Westport, they let you catch as many fish as you can, pretty much. If nobody's catching fish and you're catching fish, you get to keep catching fish. The boat don't go in until they pretty much have enough fish for everybody to take home their limit. Yeah, how many do they get? They're not getting overfished? Pardon? They don't get overfished if you can catch as many as you want? No, you can't catch as many as you want unless you're fishing commercially. Oh, yeah, yeah. I, well, I caught so many fish once, we couldn't get them in the boat. Fucking in time, if I can quit from getting a ticket for being over late. It took us like five extra minutes. I can get the net in the boat. 
Because yeah. we were pulling in by hand. Wow. My captain was going through a freaking heart attack. They're saying he was having a heart attack or something. So I'm like doing it by myself. And uh, I was pretty fucking tired. And then the Coast Guard comes flying over, taking pictures and seeing this net was way the fuck out there. And I was trying to pull it in, but the captain, then my captain's like, oh, just wait, just wait. So I'm like, fuck. We got a big old team for that. Had to give a bunch of fish back to the freaking state of Alaska. You just gave it to the, gave it to them. Pardon me. You had to give it up to the government because you overfished. No, we didn't over. Well, we overtime fished. Yeah, because the net got full right there at the end. Yeah. The net, uh, like instantly, fucking hit with a fucking shit ton of fish. So then we had like a couple thousand pounds of fish in the net. And fucking, what the fuck? Is a time limit? Um, yep, there's a time limit. You get 10 or 12 hours or something like that. That's the fucking time limit. Like starting when? Starting in the morning, or depends, it all depends. It could start fucking 3 o'clock in the morning. It could start at fucking 2 o'clock in the morning. It all depends on the tide. But you, like, tell them what time you're going to start, and then you only have a certain amount of time? No, like, they, tell you, they tell you what time. The state of Alaska tells you what time you're going to start. So they, they give you, and like, time limits? It's like you can only fish from 3 a.m. to 6 p.m. or something. Um, from 3 a.m. to 3 p.m. Or 2 p.m. or something. And then you were, like, it's, like, 2.55 p.m., and you're, like, trying to pull <laughs> your last net? That's right, that's right. And then at 3, it was, it was too fucking late. And then 3.05, Coast Guard comes flying over, and we're still got net in the water. With a shit ton of fish in it. <laughs> that's kind of weird with the time zone, like the time limits. That's uh, why, why is that? Yeah, that's because um, that's the way it is. That's the law. The way it is, you're going to fish. So, uh, yeah. yeah. But, like, uh, who, is it, that, who is that helping with the times? I don't understand that. Well, see, the next the next fishermen after that are the set netters. They got their nets on the side of the fucking bay. Yeah. And their, their nets go out into the bay. They're stuck, and they don't move. They don't move with the tide. They're all locked down. So it's like you got to take turns fishing. It's like one person gets a chance, and then at 3 o'clock, it's the next people's turn? That's right. And uh, so you're taking their fish. You're taking their fish if you get late. Wow. So. And you're taking the state of Alaska's fish if you're late. Lots right? of fish. And it turned out that the fish never showed up till 3 o'clock. clock. Yeah. <laughs> and at 305, our net was tough. What was in the water the last um, 50 yards? Fuck off. Last 50 yards was this tough fish. You didn't get any uh, before that? Not much. We were getting fucking shit. <laughs> and the last fucking couple minutes of it, or the last, like, yeah, the last couple minutes, this is net just went whoop. Got really fucking heavy, and I couldn't hardly. You're more moving the boat towards the fucking net than you were the net towards the boat. Pretty yeah. much whenever you're pulling it in. It was only you two on the boat? Yep. And it was a fish. And I pretty much I had to get that fucker in by myself that last. How come you never. Uh, there had to be a couple. How come you three never. Or 4, were... pounds. How come you're not the captain? Well, because I didn't own the boat. Yeah. And whenever I did, whenever I ran, I won't tell you that story. I have to look that up somewhere. <laughs> I don't know. You never went to, you, you never thought to just get your own boat, though, maybe? Well, I thought about it, but then my back was fucked up in that wreck. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Maybe I will someday now. 
Maybe I will. And have you seen Forrest Gump? No. Oh, yeah, I have. Yeah, he's got the Bob Gump shrimp. Gump. Yeah. It's just the two of them. Was it like that, though? Is that like two people on a boat? It, it was kind of like that, except for a little, little smaller, smaller boat. But fucking, it's kind of like that. Go out and fish and get another guy. Yeah, I, w- away. I always thought that when you were out there, I, th- I thought it was like the deadliest catch when there's like 20 people on the boat. Yeah, well, there's other times when there's bigger boats, and I've been on several boats. Yeah, how, how long did you fish? Months. How long? A couple months of time. Yeah, for years, though? And, uh, for a couple of years, yeah. Every year I go up there for a month or month and a half. And uh, I got offered to run the boat whenever the captain was leaving. I was running the boat somewhere else. And, uh, it, that was toward the end of my boating career. I mean, you never... You, my back, you're done no more. So, like, you were about to go run the boat, but then you hurt your back? Yeah, my back after that, can't get it done So you never got to run the boat? That's why well, a little bit of run the boat here and there, but freaking uh, not like run run the boat. No, I never got to run the boat. Yeah, you're, you're the captain. This is deck hand, this is deck hand, and you know, got to maneuver the boat here and there. Got to take over for the captain here and there. You never, uh, you never took it out fishing, though? Never took it out fishing on uh, my own, no. Yeah. But I did fish on my own while the captain was sleeping. I'd run the nets out and run them back in and take all, take all the fish out of them and fucking run them out and pull them back in. Then after a while, the captain would get back up and he'd do it some more. Maybe then it'd be my turn to go fucking take a nap. Well, he ran it in and out. Yeah, how long, how long at a time were you on the water? Like a week? Well, several days. Wow. Sometimes, sometimes you come in nightly, depending on which captain you are. Right? One captain has a place on, uh, in a bunkhouse, and another captain sleeps on the boat. Captain, what, what was and it? you were the first mate? It's depending, depending on some of the boats, yeah, depending on which boat it was on. Go out with, well, we caught crabs that were mostly out for uh, black cod and halibut. Yeah, crab, red snapper. crabs, you got to be closer to the land, right? Because it's like on the ground. Yeah, I'm more closer, but it all depends. There's shallows out there. It's just a big deep. Deep in some spots, but a lot of it's pretty shallow. Like how, like you go out there and there's like, it's like underwater, like mountains or something, so you can be close to the, like the... It's some sort of bay, more like, and it's just freaking pretty shallow. Oh, yeah, so you can always see the land. It's not like you're going out. In and the... there's a lot, some of the times, you'd be, we were up there driving through floods, it seemed like. Muddy floods. I don't know. Yeah. It's, it's weird. But you're not you're not going out into the ocean. You're still like in the bay. You can still see the land the whole time. Uh, that's the one kind of fishing. The uh, other kind of fishing, you're out in the ocean. You did that too. Yeah. What kind of fish are you catching yep. out there? Black cod, halibut, red snapper, and then ratfish. Ratfish? Yep. What's why you get king crab comes up? And they swim in? Then we eat them. Yeah. You eat the fish when you're on the boat? That's what you eat, too? Like when you're not, or you bring your own food, too? Maybe both. Uh, you bring your own food mostly, but uh, you can eat some of it if you like. Yeah. They won't stop you. That's a lot of fish. You ever work at the fish gutting factory? Um, well, on 
the boat, I gutted freaking thousands and thousands and thousands. Seems like tens of thousands of fish. And then you just throw the guts. a lot. You just throw the guts back? You throw them overboard. The head and guts go overboard. And scrape out the rest of the guts and wash them out. Right there on the deck and ice them up. So by the time you. You don't sell the fish whole to. to the s wholesalers of the store or whatever? Pardon? I would think that you would sell the fish just whole and there would be some kind of butcher or fish factory that would do all the, the gutting. Uh, sometimes, depends on uh, the salmon, you sell them whole, but the uh, other stuff, you cut the heads off and gut them and ice them up. Yeah. Because you do that, they give you more for them. Well, so right? Yeah. You just got like a little, like so a pit, sit there for hours with like a paring knife gutting fish? It's not really a paring knife, no. It's more of a fish cutting knife. Yeah. They got a white handle on them. They're very sharp. Yeah. And they're, they're pitching. They don't really rust, so. Pitching all around knife. Gutting fish. Gut fish. You never eat any? Like a play fish. Yeah. You have to eat, take a bite? Got a fish to take a bite while you're gutting it? Like the, uh, the outside? No. Because they're fresh. You could probably just eat them. Well, yeah, you could. But uh, I wouldn't because some fish can... You still have to cook them because some fish can have uh, worms. Oh, really? Fish worms? Oh, that's bad. Yeah. You got to watch out for that. Too. I've seen it with salmon. Clean the salmon right there on the dock. Fish worms. All of a sudden, you see those little worms about half inch, but inch and a half, two inches long, maybe. Oh, hey. out. The show's over. All right, all right. Here's the credits. I'm going to run the credits now. So, I see. She wouldn't mind having some smoked salmon or some smoked venison or something. But I'm not stupid enough to hit one with my car, so that sucks for me. That's all I'm saying. Here it is. I, I want one of them deer that's been hit by a car. Yeah. Roadkill. I'll eat it. I swear to God. Make it for anybody that sees one. You can go get a license instead of you have to be the one that hit. Yeah. We're on uh, every night on TCTV Channel 22 at 11.30 and 2 a.m. Let me have some roses, please. Check it out. I'm not. 3608363 or 4. In fact, they try not to hit things in my car, so. Yeah, don't get in a car wreck. That's bad. 109 State uh, Avenue, number 3. It's our address. Check it out. It's the credits. Graham Graham's a good song. Thank you. You're fucking welcome from TCTV, whoever. TCTV, LaBebe, Jordi E, Fabulous, Graham Graham, SoftSpot.com, John Wilkeshire, Thurston County, Washington State, USA, thank, thank you. Them. Viewers, that's you, you're watching, thank you. You're welcome. Hell yeah, dog. Hell yeah, dog. <laughs> Alright, I guess that's about the end of the show. Bye. Thank you.